you will notice DC power system total appears against which the total appears 339. And on top of that, I also have this plus button, which is in the form of a grouping, which allows you to unfold the details one by one or also at the same time at one go. Hello friends, this time we'll be talking about subtotal and we see how it helps us make different MIS reports. First, let me help you navigate with the data. I have a list of supplier number and correspondingly, I also have supplier name. Now, there are a lot of transaction amount given adjacent to the column B. So basically, these are the transaction that I'm going to associate with the corresponding supplier name. Now, what I want from this kind of raw data is at the end of every list of individual supplier name, there should be an added row and that added row should have a total for the transaction amount. Not only that, there should be a heading which says DC power system total. And the entire thing should be made in bold along with a certain color. Something like what I want to show you from solution 1B. In solution 1B, you'll notice DC power system total appears against which the total appears 339. And on top of that, I also have this plus button, which is in the form of a grouping, which allows you to unfold the details one by one or also at the same time at one go. So this is what I want to generate in the first level. So I go back, I'll tell you what did I do, which technique did I apply to make that happen. First things first, I need to sort the data. That's a must. So all DC power system in this case should be aligned in one block. Similarly for Atma telepower, ANZ telepower and so on and so forth. Now that shouldn't be a very difficult exercise now that we know how to quickly sort the data. So if I go to data sort, I can quickly say sort by supplier name. Although I'm pressing cancel right now, since the data is already sorted, now, once you have a sorted list, you will then choose the data, the entire list. You will go to data tab and then you will click on the button, which is on the extreme right called subtotal. Now, this is not something new. This was there since the older versions of Excel. So there is no chance that you're not going to find this subtotal I click upon. Now, let's be careful and read some of the points from this dialog box that came up on my screen. It says at each change in supplier number. Okay, let me change that to supplier name. Now, why would I do that? The logic that I'm going to employ is whenever from my sorted list, if Excel finds a change in supplier name, that's where I want Excel to insert a row and insert a subtotal in the form of transaction amount. So it says at each change in supplier name, use function sum amongst the many options sum and add the subtotal to transaction amount column. There are some other ancillary options which I'll discuss in the next few videos, but at this moment, I'm going to press OK. Within few moments, what you see is one extra row has been added underneath every data line item, every block. Along with that, the grouping has been assigned. So you notice level one, which is a grand total, ultra summarized data, level two, which is a summary data and level three, which is the full data before you. Now, if you want to color these special cells, these ones, not the data underneath, you will not simply choose the data and apply color because if you do that, the data inside them also gets colored. So what we do, we go back, I press control Z, you choose the data. The idea is to choose the visible cells only. So I'm going to press the shortcut key alt semicolon, alt semicolon. Quickly, you'll notice a small change in appearance of the screen and that allows you to select visible cells and you are free to color them as you wish. The result, if I click on level three, you'll find for yourself. So this is a very basic form of subtotal. The only thing you need to take care about before applying subtotal is the data must be sorted. And, and somebody might ask me, look, I also want the fact that the supplier number should exist there and that should have a suffix called total. So I'll give you another technique. I will choose the entire stuff starting from supplier number till the last. Correct. Once having done so, what I'll do is I'll press control G. Mm -hmm. 
Control G, remember? Special button, something that we had discussed long time back. Yes, I go to the special, I click on blanks and I press OK. What happens? All the blank cells get selected. So then I say equal to above cell, followed by an ampersand, double quotation open, double quotation closed. But between the pair of double quotation, a space has been inserted. Once again, an ampersand sign, and then I put my desired value total. Although I could have done that in one single string of character in this form, total. And before I press enter, I must remember that if you want to fill up all these selected blank cells, what you need to press is control enter and control B. There you go. Your full report ready. Later, as we progress ahead, I'll show you how to remove these subtotals and, and also how do you add multiple layers of subtotals along with some other techniques. Till then, practice this point.